Hey guys and girls, this is this guy is Ahmed Ertegen, one of the most influential immigrants to America. I was in 2003 in uh, Houston, Texas. I was in a bookstore, I think it was Barnes and Nobles, and I grabbed a book. And it was the most influential uh, immigrants of America. And then, yeah, I just wanted to look it up. I obviously see Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, I don't know, interesting figures from the Hollywood, whatever. And then uh, among them it was this guy, it was Ahmed Ertegun, his father was a, a Turkish embassy in America, he was interested in music and I know he made, he discovered, I mean, and he found Ray Charles, hit the road jack <laughs> and looks like he also discovered the Led Zeppelin which is incredible, I think, the, and then Tarkan, Turkish star Tarkan, he made them all popular so uh, he had a house right on this corner once upon a time okay a huge beautiful mansion amazing in this street basically and then it was really crazy then one time even uh, Prince Charles came and visit him and then he made water painting of Bodrum Castle which you cannot see at the moment so yes Today's interesting story about both. Okay, okay, guys and girls, you look at uh, you know the guy who died, right? Die man in 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 60s, even until even 60s, 50s, 40s. This town was nothing but just a fishing town, and they were diving for the you know these little spongy things. They were, they, the sponge was really. <laughs> expensive then because there was no sponge plastic sponge like we know of that time so only sponge was this kind of sponge right in the kit uh, bathtubs so these guys were diving for sponge from the water right so it's so funny it's not funny actually but they that that was the only their income right and they were diving so many meters down sometimes they wanted to come out fast and there's an accident they they die when they were dying. So a lot of Bodrum women was coming widows, becoming widows that time. So they were poor, they didn't have a husband anymore, and then a lot of them widow used to marry uh, surrounding other towns boys, uh, maybe second wife. Uh, then uh, with the tourism, this place just boom, right? Uh, all the intellectuals, all the, you know, artists, you know, <laughs> poems, everyone start to pool here. Musicians, oh my God. Uh, Isaac Kimuran was one of them. He's uh, considered art, son of art in, 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 in Turkey. So he's like the highest level artist. Lived here. Many others uh, even came here and make songs about Bodrum. So what I'm saying is, Suddenly this poor, it's, oh, by the way, when they were inherited and when the family's father died, you know, the kids, there are kids, right, inheriting, they're going to share what they were left. You know, the, <laughs> the, the land close to water, the, to sea, which is not fertile, like the ones close to the forest, let's say, was given to uh, girls <laughs> because they had no water, the seaside lands, right? <laughs> Guess what happened? Tourism, this land become like crazy expensive, right? So these people were being uh, punished and actually become very, very rich. And they, you know, along with that, Bodrum changed a lot. Interesting story. I hope you liked it. Girls, I'll tell you another guy. So cool. Okay, Nezen Tepik. Okay, Nezen Tepik is a guy. Okay. He was a poem, he was playing this instrument all the time, you know. Nezen uh, Tevik, the guy is, has an amazing story. He was, uh, happened to be a very drunk guy. He was drinking too much and then really, really too much, excessive drinking. He was pretty much alcoholic, but the amazing sense of humor and he was really loved by the people because he got amazing personality. Anyways, he was one day drunk and he's trying to go home and then he come across one of his friends, uh, you know, meantime, like he's thinking, how am I going to go my home? I cannot find my home. I'm so freaking drunk. 
and he says, you know, bro, hey, do you know where is Nizan Tefik's home? He says, uh, sir, but you are the Nizan Tefik. He says, I know, <laughs> I know I'm the Nizan Tefik, but I just cannot know where is my home. So, yeah, he was that drunk. So, he's a funny guy, yeah, and says, says hello to you. So cool.